to somewhere else with this whole starts within organization. With the movement, the vision is coming to fruition. And that's what I want y'all to just attach yourselves to today. Because the only way that it's going to be able to get to where it needs to be is if it take it, it got to take everybody. It's not going to be done just by me. Can't sit on the sideline and just watch me do the work, right? We got to all come together and say we all are going to participate in getting this thing accomplished. I'm not going to sit back and say, Carlos, I see you put in the work, good stuff. Now, men are saying, man, how do, we, how do we get the vision accomplished? How do we do our part? The way that you do your part is by adopting a mentality that will not get you incarcerated, attacking a mentality that has gotten you incarcerated, and then you take that mentality back to the streets. How do you take it back to the streets? You can write it. If you're still in here and you're going to be in here for years, you write it back to the streets. People who come in, you go ahead and tell them how to adopt a mentality that will never get you incarcerated ever again. With this walking logo, the, the, the fifth year long class that we got, men, I got it set up in a different way. The way that I got it set up is that we got 10 people who are going home within 18 to 24 months, but we also got 10 people who have life sentences. And people say, man, why do you got people who got life sentences inside of the, inside of the class? Why? They're not going home. Well, I'm going to tell you why because they fall in alignment with the vision. The reason why they fall in alignment with the vision because if we can get the people who have life sentences with the information that they need to attack the culture that produces a mentality that gets people incarcerated, when people come inside of the prison uh, on their first number, they will come to a culture that has been attacked by the people with life sentences. That means that as long as you are doing your sentence until you get paroled, you should be here attacking the culture that gets people incarcerated. You got a contribution to make. I don't care about you have a life sentence, you still got a contribution to make. You got value inside of you. Right. Right. I need the people who are getting released 18 to 24 months. I need you to go back into your community. I need you to go back into your community with the information that contradicts the information that produces the mentality that gets people incarcerated. What's that information? Brother, I don't want to be incarcerated. I don't like prison. It's not the place to be. You're not about to get no strikes by going to prison, brother. That is uncomfortable. It's undesirable. Matter of fact, brother, listen, man, prison is this, neither slavery nor involuntary servitude, except for as punishment for a crime where the party shall have been duly convicted shall exist in the United States or any other place subject to its jurisdiction. That's the 13th Amendment. That's the law of the land. The only way that you can be a slave in the United States of America is if you get convicted of a crime and it serves as punishment. So why do I want to continue to adopt a mentality that puts me in a position to be a legal slave? I'm volunteering to be a slave by my actions. It's people who are 13 years old right now that is adopting the mentality that I had adopted when I was 13 because nobody told me the 13th Amendment. Nobody told me how prison really was. When people got released from prison, they said that it was no big deal. I did it standing on my head. I'm the G now. And then they got celebrated. And because they got celebrated, I said, that, man, is that the worst thing that can happen to me? Let me get my money. But see, they weren't telling the whole story. They weren't telling that at 12 o'clock at midnight, they were wondering who was raising their children. They were hurt because they didn't know who was with their girls. They didn't tell you about how they didn't like going down to the child hall. They didn't tell you about how they complained. Like most people inside of prison do not want to be in prison. When people say that people enjoy being in prison, I always say that is a lie. People just don't know how to get up out of there. So then they just make it look like it's okay with them, but it's not really okay. If they had a way, then they will take it. So the vision is to give brothers the way. Now, everybody ain't going to take it right, but I'm talking about the ones that do. 
Everybody ain't going to take it. It's going to bounce off somebody's mentality, minds, and be like, I'm still going to continue to do what I'm going to do. And I'm going to expect everybody else to do all that they need to do for me to be successful instead of me doing all that I need to do for me to be successful. What do I got to do? I got to develop myself. I got to develop the value that's within inside of me. 